And we're back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition with Vin Shepard. So, last time we left off, we had just done Ilus, where we found out that the conduit we've been chasing this whole time is just a mini mass relay. A one-way mini mass relay that links directly to the citadel and because of some Prothean science magic or whatever they managed to break the Reaper's long uh, the Reaper's radio for letting the rest of them know it's time to begin the harvest so Sovereign has to turn it back on manually by directly linking with the citadel. Hence, Saren took a team through the conduit, and also, the Reapers and Geth are now attacking the citadel. We followed Saren through to the citadel, and now it's time to finish this. Now, let's go talk to Avina. We could kill a couple of husks. Clear. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions. Works just as well. And let's go over to Pistol. I get a feeling it's going to be short range for a while. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class yeah, she is bugging the fuck out. She really is. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Yeah, they would be, wouldn't they? What happened to the council? They are believed to be hostile. You don't fucking say. The Geth are hostile? I never would have guessed. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. Well, you're just bloody a useless. Has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel security is unable to respond at this time. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Plus, he'd probably just murder them all, even if they could. And hello, Pharaoh's time. Like the ancient human but city of Troy. Before we do Ilos that, we're gonna take like fucking five seconds sources. to listen to References the codex to entry on other Prothean ruins, though direct yeah. study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mu Relay. Four thousand years ago, the Mu Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Occasionally, a university will organize an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile Terminus systems and dozens of unexplored systems. Okay, that's kind of neat, I guess. I just really wanted to listen to it for posterity's sake, since listening to and reading the Codex entries is the thing I do in this series. Anyways, story time. 
Hey, Seven. Busy slaughtering random cubes. You're as friendly as ever. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Feeling it's not going to be quite that simple, unfortunately. And yeah. Given that Sovereign is big enough to just be a ship sized battering, and ram against anything smaller than a dreadnought, I'm not too surprised by that outcome, honestly. This could have been trouble. And yeah, we're going on the side of the elevator shaft. shooting things regularly after all or Shepard gets bored. Blend the military. They encourage that. Garrus, apparently. So does Garrus. Going well enough. You guys can drink as many as you like, but... We expect there to be a bit of a fight. walking in and I love it
down here. Sorry, I've not played this particular mission in so long that I don't remember where half the shit's located. just do not give up. At least I 
getting there. At least you're getting there. Sorry, my guest friends, but... What you throw at? We are guessing to the control tower. So, why don't you save yourself from trouble? Throw down your arms and swing. I mean, they won't, but it would be nice. Exactly why I'm saying that. But trust me, there is a good reason for it. Mostly because attempting something is a colossal pain. If you still don't understand the time we get to that point, though, I will explain. will need it. And use the trap door. Enemy Onto the Presidium then. because we are the protagonists. They haven't realized that yet. And to quote the fat electrician, these guests have decided to audition for the role of the character. Clear. <sighs> yeah, sorry, you guys are not the main character. But silver lining, you will at least make it into the credits as Bullet Cheese McSlaughter, or it's numbers one through ten trillion. Okay. I was afraid. What were you doing with those controls, Saren? Wait. Don't tell me. You already pressed the Reaper's fucking manual radio button, didn't you? Had to wipe out a few hundred of your yeah, followers. Along your the guess. Way. Sorry if I kept you 
waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? Your guess will be down minutes, a bit, I'm afraid. Full control of all the Spinel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improve. Sovereign has upgraded me. I'm sorry. What? You let you let that thing stick fancy uh, Reaper electronics in your head. Have you completely lost your mind? As opposed to the mostly lost your mind that you were sitting at before. I mean. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign. And experience a true rebirth. Yeah, no. <sighs> Come on, we can and beat the Reapers. Anything can be defeated if you go about it the right way. Are you really just going to throw away all life? in the galaxy on a whim, Saren. And just gamble everything like that. No, that's fucking stupid. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Okay, so... Before we go through with this... Actually, I'll tell you afterwards so I don't spoil anything. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this! Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. And Saren kills himself. Before we head over to that console, because then it is going to be final confrontation time. The thing with that is, Saren killing himself right there, that is optional. It's dependent on you having enough Paragon or Renegade points to convince him that he's being manipulated. If you do, he will kill himself. If not, then you probably remember that fight we had with Saren on Vermeer, where he was flying around on his hoverboard and everything. You have basically another one of those fights if you can't convince him and you have to kill him. So that conversation there just takes off a potential optional boss fight. But... 
enough about that because I had to interact with this console and fix a little something the Reapers did to try to keep any interference out during this attack. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station! See if you can open a communications channel. Contestant the Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please of course. You, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back? I find it kind of funny that Garrus would be one of the people that supports letting the Council die, because... Uh, this is like that whole situation with the... <clears throat> That whole situation you had on Novaria with the Rachni. Right, you'll always have one of your party members that supports saving the council, and another that supports sacrificing them to give you a better shot at taking out Sovereign. And the important thing there for me with this that they confirm something Vigil told us. That the Reapers used the Citadel to lock the relays. And stop us from sending in reinforcements. And the thing with saving the Council is... From Shepard's perspective... Yeah, they're douchebags, and they have really have not been very responsive to things, but these are the incompetent douchebags we know. <clears throat> At least with them, we have some rapport in terms of building our relationship, and them knowing that Shepard's going to keep her word and is an honorable person and all of that. And, and we have a working relationship. If they die and we get a new council, then we have to start all over again building that relationship. <clears throat> and if we're going to have the council and the rest of the galaxy on our side for fighting the reapers we need that relationship more to the point <clears throat> it would probably piss off a lot of the other races if we just let their representatives die <clears throat> and I don't think we want to be on the shit list of the Turians, Asarians, Solarians because we let their counselors die. Really, it just seems for the best that we save them. <clears throat> Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Oh, shit. 
sovereign. That a bloody course joke would have the Normandy going in first. Make sure he's dead. Get up, and we will use some jump. to keep at it even with heavy losses, so props to the man there. 
There's a reason why of the handful of named human military commanders in the series he came from. Double up on those, and I'll use Sabotage. No. No. Again. Get Garrus back on his feet. And let it gel us. are dead. Wonderful. Okay, get them up. 
on their feet to distract from us. Mama jokes, all of it. Card on my flank, we're going in. <sighs> Can't pass up the opportunity to put I killed the largest sentient warship in Galactic history on your resume, can you, Joker? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> 